The urge to stay connected is unrelenting. Hello? Your voice travels as fast as your thoughts. Thanks to these towers. But are they responsible for an impending, towering health epidemic? Is the electromagnetic radiation they are constantly emitting an unseen danger hanging over our heads? So the new cell phone tower radiation norms have been put into place. But does this task behind me pose a serious health risk? We are not jumping to any conclusions. But today on the show, we are going to tell you some stories. I was diagnosed with brain cancer. She was diagnosed with leukemia. And you can decide for yourself if the risk is for real. Jaipur is known for its havelis and palaces. But today, these mobile towers don't paint a very pretty picture of the pink city. What is the general radiation level of a cell One family here believes they have paid a very heavy price for their need to stay connected. Meet the Kasliwals. Brothers Sudhir Pramod and Sanjay Kasliwal own one of the most well-known jewellery businesses in the city. The family had no medical history and then, nine years ago, these towers were installed outside their home and perhaps changed their lives forever. March last year, I was diagnosed with brain cancer. And then unfortunately, two months later, my brother was diagnosed with the same uh, problem and he's in a critical state. As all scientists have been saying that it's long-term exposure, which is what we have been going through, that we have three cases of tumors in the family. And, uh, you know, to call it uh, coincidence, I think would be stupid. The Kasliwal's dog died of brain tumor and now another family member is suffering from breast cancer. Scientifically, it's tough to establish that the towers are responsible for these incidents. After three cases of tumors in the family, my mother is suffering memory loss and all the scientists were saying it even before the towers were installed. So what more proof do you think we need? Studies done across the world show that people living within a 50 to 300 meter radius of cell phone towers are in a high radiation zone and are more prone to effects of electromagnetic radiation. This radiation is not going to be safe for a long period of use or extreme use. Though it is in a small quantity or less frequency or a small frequency, a long exposure is definitely bad. The towers outside the Kasliwal home are shut today, but that's hardly a consolation for Sudhir Kasliwal. He knows the damage has already been done. The youngest brother was the most energetic, full of energy. And over the night, now you see him, you can't even see him. The kind of, uh, I mean, it's impossible to see him now in this condition. And he's in his, uh, the last stages of his life. I was with both my brothers all throughout. And I know how, how torturous it is. Just a week after we shot with Sudhir Kasriwal, his youngest brother Pramod Kasriwal passed away. Was the radiation from the TARS responsible for his death? Well, the question still remains unanswered. A similar story is unraveling in Delhi. 35-year-old Rabbani has two daughters. She runs a library for kids and is a storyteller. Today, she's telling us the story of her elder daughter, six-year-old Risa, who's suffering from leukemia. For us, it was very, very sudden. It was a very uh, sort of low-grade fever and our doctor was very smart and, you know, I don't know, maybe it was destiny, we, we found out. And uh, it's been six, seven months now. Uh, for us, it was it just came up in the blood test. It was, of course, you know, you know, for you never expect to hear that result, but well, it just so happened that she has it. Initially, Rabbani was perplexed, 
She could not figure out why Risa had got leukemia. I first thought it was me. I thought maybe it was some genetic thing that I passed on or my husband passed on. We then sort of sat down and thought about it. We have nobody who has cancer in our family. And then she came across a newspaper article on the dangers posed by cell phone towers. When I read that article and I went out and I saw, well, there wasn't just one on the main road, there was one right outside the house, which I don't know how I missed. I walked a little ahead and I saw two more. So we were really in a house that had four towers all around, the closest being literally like a, maybe 10 or 15 feet away. There is a very strong possibility that this, this could have led to her uh, leukemia. Could Risa's cancer be a result of radiation emitted from the cell phone towers? It's hard to pinpoint the exact cause, but it's a good idea to keep an eye out for early symptoms like sleep disruption, headaches, dizziness, fatigue, buzzing of the head and altered reflexes. When we keep the phone next to the ear, so ear being the closest, so the radiation affects the ear, it will affect the skin, it will affect this side of the eye and it also penetrates the brain. So brain starts getting heated up, it may lead to sleep disorder, lack of concentration, memory loss and other things. But cell tower radiation is different. There you are exposed to the radiation 24 hours. So the whole body is absorbing that radiation. In fact, it creates multiple resonances inside the body. So depending upon which part of the body is getting exposed to the tower more, that particular body may develop severe health problem. These were the symptoms which made the Kapoors of Delhi realize that living next to a tower may be dangerous. The towers came up in 2005 and we were all quite unaware of what they were at that time. We thought they were just TV towers or something of that sort. Suddenly our back started going, our bones started paining, the servants started getting problems. The family got hold of a radiation meter and that provided some clues. The yellow light on the meter was a clear signal that the radiation levels were very high in their home. This is the room where my daughter was living during her pregnancy and the baby born had a tumor in the eye. We didn't realize the cause of it till we came with this machine and we realized the radiation level is so high that it's red. Now of course we've asked them to move out of here but it's a problem. Look at the level of the radiation in here. It's so high that it's red. The main reason why EMRs are considered dangerous is probably because of the ease with which they can penetrate the human body. And they are said to be responsible for neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer and Parkinson's, immune system degradation, tinnitus and ear damage, irreversible infertility, effect on skin, DNA damage and increase in cancer risk. From Delhi to Mumbai, different cities but the same fear psychosis. 33-year-old Carmel Nair is seven months pregnant. Her building is bang opposite a cluster of towers and she feels her unborn child is at risk. When a pregnant woman is taking an x-ray shot, that itself is considered so harmful that doctors do not prescribe an x-ray to a pregnant woman. Now I, I have been living under this x-ray, under this radiation shot almost every day for 24 by 7, which is as good as having an x-ray shot taken every second. So how comfortable and how safe is it going to be for my child? Carmela's fears are not unfounded. It's been two years that they've moved into this new house and the telltale signs are already there. When we shifted here in approximately three to four months time, uh, I started showing signs of severe hair fall and I would wonder that, you know, what has brought this change? Problems like severe headache, nausea, most importantly sleeplessness. So one fine day me and my husband, we discussed about it and he told me that he's suffering more or less the same problems. In fact, he also mentioned that his immunity had gone down. A radiation check done at their home revealed that it was indeed very high. 
it was a matter of concern because even the fine print of phones like blackberry which emits much lesser radiation than the towers clearly suggest that the phone should be kept away from the abdomen of pregnant women these are a lot of electromagnetic radiation environment we are living in do they affect us um, again what do i feel as somebody who's gone through medicine as somebody who's studied science there has to be an effect somewhere because a lot of our brain to body functional is through electrical impulses which go through neuro transmitters and neuronal junctions they will definitely get affected by these non ionizing radiation the danger is not just from the 5 lakh towers but the cell phone itself is a bigger health risk for the 900 million users in india this radio frequency is emitted from the antennae of the phone which is placed near the ear if you're talking for more than 20 minutes on your cell phone the emr raises the ear lobe and brain temperature by up to 2 degrees in fact in may this year the world health organization had classified cell phones as possibly carcinogenic like benzene and ddt the first such admission by the biggest health body and children are at a higher risk this is the skull bone and this is the area which is in contact with the cell phone directly yeah. now depending on the thickness of the skull bone yeah. the number of radiations or the energy of the radiation will mm. pass into the brain so in younger people it has been seen that the thickness of the skull bone is much thinner okay. as compared to grown up people okay. so the bad effects of these rays will be much more in younger people so the next time you want to buy a mobile phone i suggest you carefully go through the user manual especially the chapters on safety The brochures clearly say to keep the phones away from the breast pocket if a person is implanted with a pacemaker. The iPhone warns its users against seizures, blackouts and eye strain and recommends that a distance of 5 to 8 inches is maintained between the phone and the body. In fact, in the US, every phone is tested by the Federal Communications Commission for its specific absorption rate or SAR before it is available for sale to the public. The SAR represents the rate at which radiations are absorbed by the human body. According to the Time magazine, the biggest culprit in terms of radiation is the BlackBerry, the must-have accessory for any successful person. When we invented cars 100 years back, nobody realized the bad effects of the petrol fumes or the diesel fumes. Many of the people who are now watching for cell phones saying that this is their lifestyle or this is the way of life. The ill effects are going to show up after some time. Considering that even the revised permissible EMF level in India is 0.92 watts per square meter is much higher than China, Germany and France. It's hard to say if we are in a safe zone yet. The new cell phone tower radiation norms have been implemented from the 1st of September 2012. But for some people we heard from today, perhaps the norms have come a little too late. They say that the damage has already been done. In fact, our Living It Up page on the IBN Live website is a buzz with queries. We're getting your questions, your concerns answered by the top experts in the field. Hello. Hello. Uh, doctor, I'm Kapil Chavla calling from Delhi. You see, I'm uh, quite worried. Uh, I've been hearing about this uh, radiation problems coming from the mobile towers. Is this really true? Couple. See, if you are living close to the cell tower, and first thing what you would like to do it is you get the radiation measurement done at your place. Yeah, actually, you know, we live very nearby to a cell phone tower. It is just a bank opposite my house. And I have uh, small children in my house, and then my aged parents are also there. So, if there is a problem, then uh, what is the solution to this, doctor? 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन ट्राई टू कन्विंस ऑपरेटर्स टू रिड्यूस द ट्रांसमिटेड पावर और आस्तेम टू रिमूव द टावर इफ नाइदर ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर पॉसिबल यू कैन गो फॉर शील्डिंग सोल्यूशन ओके यू कैन पुट अ स्पेशल फिल्म ऑन द विंडोज विच कैन कट डाउन द रेडिएशन बाई नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑल्सो देर आर स्पेशल कर्टन्स अवेलेबल विच यू कैन पुट इट एंड दैट विल ऑल्सो ब्लॉक द रेडिएशन बाई नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट एंड इफ द रेडिएशन इज कमिंग थ्रू द वॉल वन कैन एक्चुअली पुट ऑल्सो स्पेशली डिजाइंड वॉल पेपर दीज अगेन कैन रिड्यूस द रेडिएशन लेवल बाई नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट ओके थैंक यू डॉक्टर थैंक यू सो मच ओके बाय Apart from what Professor Kumar has just mentioned, there are other radiation neutralizing devices. The Green 8 harmonizing foil can be placed over the battery to cut down the radiation from cell phones. Devices like the Enviro chips are set to change the nature of radiation. They can be fixed onto the external surface of the cell phone. Some anti-radiation chips can be worn around the neck. It needs to be placed at the solar plexus and claims to create a protected zone up to 4 meters. These chips can cost anything from 400 to 2400 rupees. There are also anti-radiation strips which can be put around the towers. doctor i have a 2 year old daughter she tends to play on the phone like throughout the day most of the time she wants to talk to her father i want to know how harmful is it for the child i wouldn't recommend that your children be playing with the gadget at all now let me cite a small study that has happened in australia where in in uh, the physicians found that the incidence of leukemia is much more higher in uh, those who are staying very close to the cell phone towers within a 5 km radius or the children using more of the cell phones okay now in children what happens is because the skull bones are very thin the brain gets affected now brain is in a development process in the children and radiations can damage the development of the brain please do not allow your children to play with the cell phones either with the games in the applications or keep talking on the phone to their small other little friends okay thank you doctor hi doctor i'm sham uh, you know there are often times we hear that you know the continuous usage of uh, cell phone in your trouser pockets can sometimes harm the sperm count i mean is that true uh, i mean how does it really affect the sperm count i mean i mean how does it work it's not a rumor it's a fact because most of the studies say that uh, cell phone being kept very close to the trouser pockets or to the uh, scrotum or the testes or uh, worn very close to the trouser belt do affect the sperm counts and may cause infertility in such patients my advice is do not keep these cell phones as close to the uh, scrotum or the uh, testicles all right thank you doctor Next week on Living It Up we are talking about allergies. I'm allergic to nuts. I'm allergic to nuts. We will try and understand why it happens, how it can be prevented and what are the treatments available. There's a lot of confusion out there in the minds of parents and doctors. If you are allergic to something or have a query, do write into us at editor@ibnlife.com or log on to our website ibnlife.com/livingitup. Our experts will try and answer your questions. So till next week, stay healthy and live it up.